<laughs> that was not a cool entrance. Hello. For the next 50 hours, I'm gonna survive in the city. With nothing but this back. Let's get it done! Let's get it done! Mainly, I really need to work on my survival skills. Gotta practice my skills. So, let me show you what's in my backpack. This is my gear. Water bottle, boiled peanuts. I thought this was green beans. Utility gloves, water filter, toothbrush, aspirin medicine, sleep system. I also have this, knife. It's very dull. Let's get it done! My new goal right now is to first find a water source and because the shelter location needs to be in correlation with the water source. My strategy for that is just walk down the road until I come across a bridge and in the bridge hopefully there's a creek underneath it because I actually don't know this area at all and I see a bridge coming up. This looks like a pretty gangster place. I think I might camp here tonight. Yeah. Very spacious, you know? You know, the only thing that might hinder my sleep is the cars driving above, but they're really not that loud. I have a water source, I have shelter, so this is really relaxing at this point. Very chill. And I got my can of boiled peanuts. I saw a survival tip one time that I'm really skeptical about, but I thought, hey, I might as well try it out. It is, if you have a can and you don't have a can opener, take concrete and run it really fast on the concrete until the can opens. Well, I can't get that to work. I guess you still can't eat the shell. This will be good to eat while watching the movie. I just noticed that there are human footprints and also coyote footprints. Hopefully none of those things come when I try to sleep. This survival challenge has turned luxurious because I decided it's urban survival. A phone is urban, like I said, so I'm just gonna watch a movie, you know? And for this situation, what better movie to watch than The Last Man on Earth? So seeing that the only thing I have to eat is peanuts right now, I decided to go on a hike for some dumpster food. That's right. I googled where the nearest Aldi's was and decided to hike to it. Because Aldi's, they always have such good stuff in their dumpsters. Like, mm, mm, mm. It was approximately 3.5 miles away. <laughs> no big deal. Let me see how shot. How should I even say this? How can I even break the news? I was charging my phone outside of a church and they saw me so they invited me inside and so I went inside and they had free breakfast. Donut and sausage, sausage biscuits. So yeah, and I got a free breakfast. So that's cool. On my way to the Aldi's dumpster. I really need water though. There's nothing. That's okay though, that one's not the Aldi dumpster. Somebody's hair, literally somebody's hair. This is real human hair. Only for salon suites. That's why it's all this human hair in it. That is so beautiful. This is the dumpster I've been on a quest for. Aldi. <gasps> I told you. Instant success. It got oranges and bagels. Dude, I tell you every time, they always have the goods. Coffee packets, oranges, they have pizza, not look good though, looks like it might be old. They have chicken, I'm very skeptical to eat that. A lot of bread, they have cheese. I mean, the more cheese ages, the better it is, right? Uh, actually, no, I don't trust it, that's weirdly discolored. Some bread, this looks good. Loaf also looks, oh, never mind, it's mold. It's mold, mold. Mold. I don't know what this one has. I'll take it. I don't know why they threw this out. I'll take it. I was just 
have to separate the good food from the bad. And I only need to take what I'm gonna eat today, really. Oh, oh, hey there, what's up? You probably couldn't tell, but that journey there and back and getting the food took like five and a half hours. That's a long time. And I hiked about uh, probably like eight, eight or nine miles, probably eight. So it is really relaxing to just be laying in this creek, taking a cleaning. I was kind of starting to stink, but not anymore. It's nature's back and it feels just as nice, nicer because I have a way better view, like like a way better view. See, look at that view. Isn't it so enticing? Like, wow. I'm not really talking about my feet. I'm talking about like all the nature and even the bridge is so cool and how destroyed it looks and post-apocalyptic. Really, really neat. And the water is so cool. It's so cool and it's hot out today so it feels really nice this sweet nectar was from a dumpster pretty insane right i'm watching airplanes go by that is so nice and i'm enclosed by trees that is so enjoyable so i got some news to break to you it turns out this whole time i actually brought a bag of rice i just forgot about it I accidentally left it in my car, but I just went back and got it. But I didn't bring anything to cook it with. That's the catch. So I gotta improvise. It's a rock stuff. I think I'm gonna use my can of boiled peanuts to cook my rice. Never done this before? I'm gonna see how it goes. That's where I'm gonna start a fire and cook my rice. Because it's so safe. I'm surrounded by water. How can I accidentally start a forest fire? I can't. And right here, that's my supply of wood. realize something. Forgot to bring a fire starter. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Stop, I know. Stop, I know. It's cringe. It's embarrassing. It's sad. I know. I want to show you guys my ingenuity of how I'm going to cook rice with only a can. But I forgot to bring the fire starter. How could this happen? I, stop looking at me like that, okay? I already know, okay? So stop it. Just, just go. I've just been sitting here until it turned dark doing pretty much nothing uh, because I pretty much have nothing else to do and I don't really want to talk to you guys anymore because yeah I don't need to go into it. Good night. Bye. Just start the fire. Cook the rice. Cook the rice. Just start the fire. Just start the fire. Uh, Gabe. Gabe. Start the fire. C cook the rice. Uh, cook the cook the rice. Uh, just Start the fire! Don't start the fire! Just... Start the fire! Oh no. What is this? What are you guys looking at? Go 